today's local and national news from Thailand via the fabulous Patia Media Group. And if you'd be kind enough to like and subscribe, here's a tip for you to get the very latest news from us every day. When you subscribe, click on the button that says All. And then every day you'll get an update straight from us. Twelve Thais have been killed, eight injured and another eleven kidnapped by Palestinian Hamas militants who launched a mass assault from Gaza on Israel. This is the UK, the US and Germany have also reported citizens killed, abducted or missing. We're now being told officially that some 5,000 Thais live and work there in the Gaza Strip and most have, along with others, been moved to safer areas, with over a 1,000 registering for emergency flights back to Thailand. Thailand has successfully sought assistance in dealing with Palestinians regarding the conflict through counterparts in neighbouring Malaysia, where due to religious similarities, their diplomats have already well-established lines of communication. Monday night through to this morning saw the Pattaya region get its first real flooding of the season, seeing emergency pumps quickly set to move water from deluged areas where drains were overloaded. On the east side, villages that normally don't flood, such as Pong, flooded by one o'clock after the first storm hit. That followed by more through the night and continued rain early this morning. Traffic was at a normal pace by sunup, as drains did clear the water in the city, but prior to that, the Sukhumvit and railway roads, along with other areas, were impassable. A warning has been issued for aquaplaning on many roads, including the motorway to the city. And the reminder, as many found out last night, petrol cars will cut out if driven through water. With the prospect of this continuing through the day, unnecessary journeys may be best avoided. This is the Capital 2 reports flooding and Ubon Rachatani is the latest district to report riverbanks bursting and heavy flooding. There, as in other regions in the north and northeast, single-storey homes have often been seen to be underwater and with no immediate signs of levels dropping. Here in Patia, as the waters flood through toward the ocean at least, there is a place to pump the water out. For inland cities and villages, that's not the case. Burmese authorities are said to be assisting in the search for a 19-year-old youth who's thought to have fled there after a former Thai ambassador to Denmark was murdered in the capital at the weekend. Forensics reports indicate that he was moved after his demise from repeated stabbings and hidden under rubbish in his home. Three tuk-tuk drivers have been indicted by a Phuket court on charges of assault on a tourist after rows over fares. Caught on camera outside an hotel, they beat up the Saudi tourist who booked one to take him to his accommodation, but they ended up at the wrong hotel. Moving on to the right one a few hundred yards up the road, the driver doubled the fare. The usual row ensued, and he called two other drivers to back him up in the attack. Police are requesting that the Phuket Transport Office suspend their operating licences. Thailand has successfully replaced its ageing Earth observation satellite with a new one which we're told is firing up on all cylinders. Having seen an initial launch aborted, it was sent into the sky from the French Guyana Space Centre on Monday morning. The high-quality image unit replaces its predecessor, which has worked well since 2008. Meanwhile at home, and former Patia Mayor, later Minister of Culture for Thailand, returned yesterday from overseas of his own volition, handing himself over to officers at Bangkok Airport on arrival. Duly taken to court, he was given immediate bail and not seen as a flight risk as he faces claims of involvement in the approval of the much-derided condo block that blights Bally High Pier. Itipon as mayor would have had the final sign-off on the building permit, but only after numerous professionals had given it the thumbs up and made their recommendations. Now 50 years of age and with a successful career going back to his youth, many are hoping that he won't be made a fall guy as the biggest issue appears not to be the issuance of the permit, but the builder's deviations from the plans and building regulations. In Santa Heap, locals have complained of an hotel resort building where a swimming pool has been created on the beach. It seems that the permanent structure has been built over quite a while and signs prohibit the general public from passing through, making it difficult to walk on the public beach areas. Again, the advisory to avoid unnecessary driving today as storms will likely continue and the Met Office promising highs of 28 dropping down to 24, an overcast day, and obviously with rain. Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or programme, like and subscribe to our channel. 
fabulous Patia Media Group by using the link below.